Well, the All Black team to play Italy on Friday night here in Lyon has been named, and Ian Foster has made the point that it is a team specific to this particular game. But Jeff Wilson, it's starting to look more like the top team. Well, the return of some players from injury was clear. The fact when you get the likes of Geordie Barrett, Tyrell Lomax, Shannon Frizzell available, fit and available to be playing, they're always going to pick them. The role they're going to play in this game, though, is very interesting. The fact that the captain of the side, the squad, Sam Kane, is going to make his impact off the bench really pre presents Dalton Popper Lee a chance to stamp his mark and say, you know what, I, I think I might deserve to be the starting player. And does that mean Sam Kane's future could be off the bench? for the All Blacks. And you start combining that with Sam Whitelock and that sort of experience. I sort of like what I see there. The other thing I do like Nisbo is I think they've rewarded form, particularly Cam Roygaard. In fact, we saw how good and impactful he can be, the way that he does play the game. He changes the attack for the All Blacks. His kicking game hasn't been to the fore just yet, but that is an option for them going forward. And surprisingly for me, it's Dane Coles as well on the bench when he has pulled on the jersey for the All Blacks this year, has looked really, really good. What do you like about this side? Look, I like the bench, to be honest. Um, I think one of the criticisms of uh, what happened in, in uh, Paris in the opening game was that we didn't get a lot of impact off the bench. But I look at that uh, bench and I see guys like uh, Dane Coles, Tamaiti Williams, yep. they're going to unleash him. He hasn't had a, a minute on the field as yet. Uh, then, of course, you've got Sam Whitelock, record-breaking night for him. And then Damien McKenzie. Yep. There's been a lot of conjecture around Damien McKenzie's role in this team and because uh, he covers two positions, uh, fantastic. So, look, I really like the bench. I think we're going to get some real impact there. Yeah, I, I agree. That the surprise out of the 23, clearly, is though no room for Leicester Whanganuku. Mm. And, and that comes down to positions that people can play. And the only way Damien McKenzie can make the squad is if you drop a Leicester Whanganuku, you drop the outside back, because you need Anton Leonard-Brown for cover in the midfield. So you talk about being specific for this game. I think it's a, it's a lead toward that, w towards where they'd like to go. Clearly, Ethan de Groot becomes the option back at the quarterfinal time at loosehead prop. But for Offa Tuanga Fasi, Nepo Lalala, um, Cody Taylor, I think the front row in particular, F tight five, is incredibly strong. And I expect them to go out and try and dominate up front um, very early on in this game against Italy. I mean, this is a knockout game in Nisbo. This is, this is their tournaments. And I don't think this squad can underestimate Italy because we've seen already there are sides that can poke their head up. And for Italy, this is their tournament as well. You think the fact that Damien McKenzie is now on the bench puts to bed the idea that Jordan might end up at fullback? Because obviously, uh, McKenzie is going to cover that position. Is that what you think? Yeah, well, yeah, that's a, you're throwing it at me. Yeah. I hadn't considered it that way. Yeah. Um, I think if you're going to make a shift, it's what impact is Damien Mc McKenzie going to make at 10 or, or at fullback? And you may be right. The fact that they feel as though Will Jordan's biggest and best impact going forward is clearly going to be on the wing. It just makes it difficult when you've got guys in form like a Leicester Whanganuku. Does that put pressure on Mark Talia to continue to play well? Because he's been one of the standout performers. But the big thing for the All Blacks is about getting some confidence, right? Is yep. actually starting to believe on who they are and what they've got. And with all the players returning to play, you get the sense they've got this fantastic bench you're talking about. They're going to get the impact if they start this game really strongly. I imagine it could go well, and we'll get a different narrative around this team. Because at the moment, I get the sense they're, they're bubbling under the radar. Pretty hard no selection too, because you know Sam Whitelock is playing a, uh, a record-breaking game, and yet he's only coming off the bench. It just shows, I think, Jeff, there's no sentiment here. No, and, and we always wondered whether or not they could make the hard call. But form from Scott Barrett through the course of the season has almost dictated this, the fact that he's been so very, very good. Um, look, Brody Retallick, when I mean, you think about all of the, the, the pieces of the puzzle, the big one has been Shannon Frizzell, though. I mean, they welcome him back. I'm hopefully he gets through some good work. Hopefully the job gets done early and they can get him off and then they can maybe save him for the quarterfinal because he's critical to this All Black team in terms of their balance, their size, and what they're probably going to need against Ireland. And ultimately, this is the dress rehearsal, right? You need to get this right, Nisbo, as you prepare for a knockout game in a quarterfinal. And the other guy we didn't mention on the bench is Tyrell Lomax, who of course hasn't played at this tournament so far. And when De Groot comes back, does that mean that uh, both Chonga Farsi and Lalara are under real pressure to perform this week? Well, I think what we've seen already in this tournament is just scrum has to be strong. And not just for the first 60, but for the full 80. I think they rely on that experience. When it comes to their role going forward, it could be a as the finishers, the two guys who come on and have to play 20 to 25 minutes to seal a game. 
I do like some of the work they have been doing in the tournament to date. Uh, and I think there, there are two guys that know what it's going to take. But this is huge. I'm looking forward to this contest. Look, there's pressure on everybody, right? It's the time of the tournament. Let's bring it on. Yep, it's a very good all-black team playing against a very good Italian side.